a moment. <laughs> We're rolling. Yeah, well, I'll tell you to tell him to come over. We're rolling on the camera, Logan. Tell Uncle Logan to come over, baby. All right, mate. Come on, let's go. Oh, firstly, uh, we're not going to, uh, oh, um, we'll get our, our minister that's here, um, Pukki, to uh, open up our hui for today. So if you don't mind, Pukki, would you open us up with a clock here for us, please? Yeah, I've got two books here. Thank you, mate. Oh, well, all right, when you're ready. I got your get some with you, Mario, you get that room. in the farming that I had, there's, 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 there's only two tuckers for this week. It's for two tupunas only. It's, it's uh, Hedamai, Hedamai and his father Ramaka and, 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 and Holy Son, uh, Hedamai, uh, Holy, Holy Tukuri himself, and his father Ramaka and Holy, uh, Holy Hedamai Tukuri, which is uh, Hedamai, which is um, 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 Holy Tukuri's son. He only had one son. Was that so? And and what I what I what I and, and what I put on there, I said, if anyone wants to get up and talk, there's there's, there's only there's only two things that I've called you people here for, like young, know, the fun and that these that have come. It's only it's a hui just for these two two punas only, like Holy Tukuri. And 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 Tamati Kuku. That's the second one. So, and when I come to Tamati Kuku, well, well, Ratana, Ratana actually, actually, Ratana came here. 
to the shelves in, 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 in you know, the cookers are going to come out about it. So it's about the, when you come to Tamaki cook, is to do the TW Lakama and the colour to the rats on the church. Those are the only two things. And what I've just said, well, if you've got documents or you want to get up and call, well, you must welcome, but we have proof, got proof and evidence here. So I don't want to go on track and, you know, and someone talking about something else. Because those are the two subjects why I call this week for this, because I believe in my own heart. You know, it's taken me a long time to put this thing together with, with the help of John, you know, and, and um, I want to put it in that and, and how people are going to take it, well, that's up to you. But, uh, you know, like I said, we've got no facts and we've got it here, and I'm going to let, um, I'll, I'll, I'll let John talk, talk about that, but I, I think the first one, which is the first one I'm going to start with then? Mr. John, we'll talk about uh, Horitikuri. Horitikuri first, yeah. yeah. And then we'll roll straight over on yeah. to the Tamaki Kuri. Yeah. Is, is that all right? Have I? That's good. Can I sit down now, Mr. John? You can sit down, you have to make yourself comfortable at home. <laughs> oh, thank you. Bringing me in the middle. We're having a slight problem. He's got the live on there as well. My live cut off because my fingers hit the thing and my people are coming back again. Uh, the oh, trouble with holding it in your hand, it gets cut off. So we're going live. Carry on, Morris. We're going live. We're picking up on this video again with our um, court hearing. Here. Here oh. <laughs> I want to see you give away all the details. Mm -hmm. Not enough. Oh, we're getting back. We're getting the body back. Sorry about that. I just my fingers got on the road. I shouldn't be holding it in my hand, but I need to get it around so I can turn it on to the uh, speaker. Well, I've, I've asked um, John. Well, John wants to start off so with who with the kuri with um, my fucker papa to who with the kuri. So. John has got all, all the details that come with it and he's got all the evidence and proof to what we do. So I'll leave John to talk to that. But uh, we'll start off with with, with, um, with Hori Tikuri. Tabi Tubana Hori. So when you're ready, John, I'll, I'll, I'll leave it to you. Okay. And, so. uh, and I'll sit down. Okay. Yeah. And then you can refer to your books and other things there mm -hmm. if you want to. With the uh, with the uh, history to Hori Tikuri, but I'll, I'll say something uh, for what we are we are here here for today. Just to back uh, uh, Morris up, we've got legal documents that go straight to London, and there's a whole audience around the world watching what's happening to this land, which is starting from 1820, the first British arrival, the Baker family from England and the Russell family, uh, and Russell to Russell from uh, from uh, Firinaki and also to uh, um, uh, Kaheke and to Hokianga. That history of that area is mostly the Wesleyan Church, into the um, um, Methodist Church, and into the um, uh, uh, Ratna Church here, the first Ratna Church here, and the key here. There's a history with that as well. That, that goes with this flag here as well, uh, with this uh, decoration flag here, and being trading and trading. Two trading flags. And uh, those are what I want to refer back to the land. We're talking about land here in specific uh, with uh, what affected every land in the world. Their titles came from here. And when the ship arrived here, they had documents that said it belonged to the king. And that's how it started off. The king said the land that the captain got off the ship and he used that authority to put the first title here in pictures that are here in the books, I'll show you afterwards, of a picture of cowrie trees. They came for trade for cowrie trees straight to London from Pukia, um, um, the Harbour, and Rawini, the Native Magistrate Court, the bank was there, and also the um, Poreke, where the ships were built and maintained to go straight to Britain from here with gum and, uh, and especially the logs, cowrie logs. So that history goes with this Baker family, just picking two families, Baker family. Other people can talk for themselves, but I'm talking for their, his family as being um, 
uh, where the British title of deeds, state the deeds, four days of British deeds, and the Maryland Court came out of these deeds. It started off at, uh, at Manungu and shifted over to Waitangi. Those changed up to the Australian Queen Victoria titles and the Maryland Court titles, where the Maryland name came from, uh, that made those Maori titles came out of the Victoria Australia titles. And half of Australia is Van Diemen's land in New Zealand. That's a Dutch title, and this flag is Dutch. It's not German or anything else. The title, the first title is Dutch. The King William II, the uh, Bill of Rights Act, 1694, is all around this history of commercial conflict. Why they came here was to trade right from 1820 right here on this land. And this church was right up to play. This flag, the Haki, uh, with Gartner went around the world to try and be the same as this trading bank flag here. Uh, so you've got two of the most important documents in the world here. New Zealand is supposed to be the centre of the world to run the business of the Queen's running her business from Waitangi. National Trust, that corporate company, is the, the company that's running this flag. They're, run, they're running this flag on the Queen's side, but they made the King silent. I'm here to speak for the King in the King, King's Bench Court to open it up. To open it up from here and take it back to England to liven up the flag. Over here, the flag has got no legal in it. We're putting the legal back in it, and I've been to England already with his history, the Baker and the Russell, to acknowledge it with live people on that end. So I brought them back, the live people to sign these documents, to go back again to Westminster to take it, to verify that we are the real people here on that first title. Yeah, all those families, the Harrises and everybody else in that era, they were all starting off in the Wesleyan Church, the Catholic Church, and with the uh, Methodist Church straight down to Queen Street, the Methodist Church down in Queen Street. That was the hub of all the business of these titles, these books here. These are all from Mohi Manaka and some of the others, Moa Matitara, all those confederation people, the United Tribes of England, I'm the last one in it with all this information, left to me from all your your chiefs uh, that have gone now and they had to give it to somebody, so they gave it to me. So I'm here for all the people here uh, in, in the country, if they're not here, they're watching this. A lot of them know, they're picking up the information, what I'm saying, it's your title, that's yours, and this is yours as well, because all we're doing is legalising that and that at the same time, right? That's a legacy, this is a legacy. That is 1919, um, um, corporate, corporate, and this is 1834, back to 1828, back to 1820 here, 1823 uh, in uh, uh, Waikato area of Mongatotiri Mountain. So that was the first, the Hongi Heka went to England with uh, Reflet Manaka, oh no, Hori, Tik, Hori um, hang on, Hongi Heka went to England with um, Tira Waikato Whare Here Here Manaka. Right, those two chiefs went to England and um, or, um, um, the Manukau chief, Kirawai Katu Whareheri in Manukau, signed a contract with this flag, uh, coming later to entrench the contract in 1823 and this 1821 here. This 1820, first, uh, first um, um, uh, British arrival. So we're going on that ship in the Waitangi Treaty Grounds. I've been there and opened up eight native magistrate courts. This is the ninth one and including Waitangi Marae, I opened it up right in front of their nose and they didn't realise that I was running a native magistrate court in there. That's how we do it. That's the bank and this is the bank flag and we're, all we're doing is making accountable all the titles that are being produced out of Britain and we have, we have to go back to Britain to fix up the titles. Uh, so I'm saying here today for Morris that his uh, Horitikuri, I'm going on the Mero memorials of titles um, and that uh, Hori Tikuri and Ramaka, the father's buried back here and just as well Morris stepped in because this would have been a national or international um, um, heritage locked up trust. And so he saved it from going into the National uh, Heritage Trust and the World Heritage Trust. It's just as well he kept this house, this church alive back to its native people, right of new people uh, around this area your title, that's what we're talking about today, to join that with this. And Ratna down there, the seal is on here, right there. The seal of the documents, 
that, they haven't got that. It's on these, he's got it. And it's got Taheke on it. This hasn't got Ratna down there. The Ratna here started from here. The churches were responsible for the birth certificates, everything from that harbour, from the Rawani Native Magistrate Court, Magistrate Bank, the money went through there, and Helenville. Uh, money, money went through Helenville, Magistrate Court, the Manukau over there, right? Those two na Native Courts, and they crossed out the one at Waitangi, at Russell, because uh, Hone Hika cut the flag down, but Hongi Hika is more Cook Island, uh, and that, that goes down in history on this. He's he, he Cook Island, uh, and that's the difference between him and Hone Hike. Hone Hike didn't want this British stuff. It was too late because the British were going to take it if no contracts were signed. The Waikato guy down there signed the contract to, to put this up for a lease, the head lease. This is the head lease for all the world. I'm telling the whole world here. These are all the documents hidden here, away from everybody, and uh, the Rothschild Banks is run from Waitangi Marae. That's the highest court in the world of this flag running the whole business in the world. That belongs to you. That belongs to all the people who push the button on this online screening that I'm going to put there to support the, the, the Homia uh, Hue Tahie here to acknowledge that flag and this flag. They go together as commercial to get all your wealth, your inheritance back this way. You have to go back, follow the ship backwards, follow the ship back from around the other side of Waitangi, back here in, in uh, Mangungu and, and uh, where the treaty things started off, they always go back there to acknowledge the British connection and follow the ship back to England from Hokianao there at uh, Horeke, the, the post shop, post shop there, back to Ireland. Ireland is the one, is the country that's got the 1846 um, constitution, that's here. The 1846 constitution is fixed inside the flag and the 1834 flag and also the 1852 British Constitution. They haven't got a constitution. It's right in this flag, stuck together in there, in that 1834. The Maori and the Queen created the Maori tribe. It's not a real tribe. It's been fashioned for commercial on the Queen's side. Nothing wrong with it, but it's that, that's her contract. And this is the King's contract, where her contract comes out, that I'm saying that flag and this flag equals the commercial uh, around the world of this flag that the Queen took it around the world. And you'll notice that um, all, the, all the money that's made goes to the Queen and, and their royal families, nothing to you. They only live on what's left over uh, at the end of the money going from here to the Cook Islands. And why the Cook Islands? You see again the Cook Islands for the tax that the government takes out and then goes to the Netherlands. The Netherlands <coughs> are just, just going to shift the business out of there, and they're not telling you where it's going, I can tell you where it's going, Victoria, Australia. So all the wealth, that's why uh, Jacinda Ardern just went to rescue Britain, because their Brits is going nowhere. I'm right in the middle of the Brits that over there, all the agreements that affect us, right? And so they had nowhere to turn but back to where it came from here, the other partner. And they sent Ardern there ahead of you people, right, to talk for you. They're talking for you, and they're talking for Mary because they own it. That's why you can't get any word Mary then. And that Morris has got 10 land back under that hori tikuri, and he's holding on to them, ready, ready for me to put this British title back on. That's how you get your land back. You go back to the beginning, take the, take the mortgage off, I'm taking the mortgages off, and putting the deed back on, back to customary title. And this only can be done reverse this way, but putting this and take it back to Britain. And put it, put it in front of those people. We've got a big crowd over there waiting for this, the other half. They know now you're the partner living. And nobody else in the old days can do it, only you living. That's why we're here. We might not have the multitudes of people, but the documents and the titles are here. They don't have this anywhere in the world. It's only here with us. So that's what I want to say, but I'll go back to uh, Hori Tikuri. Uh, Hori Tikuri is um, his um, um, memorial uh, up on, up on uh, the fire <coughs> up there, um, is the highest point on the Amonga. That's with any, any high place where there's a, 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 a tupuna on top buried. And uh, also uh, Ramaka's name is on that uh, memorial stone and, uh, and uh, Hedemaya. Hedemaya, the three of them on the stone. Um, thing is buried at the back here. Ramaka, the father, is buried at the back here. Then his son, Hurichkuri. And so that's in the years of time that connects to 1820, back to, uh, back to this Rawa Native Magistrate Court. It's still there. They won't take it away. They need it. They need that for their legacy to keep their titles going at Waitangi.
So you've got, you've got two things happening here. You've got this flag that they're flying, everybody's flying around, it's not legal. I got told that every time I went to Waiting all these years to try and get 30 blocks of land back down the east coast and I can't get on one of them. I can't even get, even a trustee on one of them, I can't get on because there's trustees there running them and I'm not a farmer. That's, that's why I can't get on. Even though I've got all the experience in the world, they won't let me. They know what's going to happen. I had a court case in Auckland, in, in Cook Street, and I won the case there uh, because they had insufficient evidence. That's when we all got locked up with those uh, um, marshals, the US uh, marshals, uh, those fellows said they can do it and seize the land there. Now I'm going to get it myself after this in Britain. I'll get more confident the more people that support getting the land back. Just, that's all this is, land. <coughs> Nothing else. The whakatapa and everything is just saying, sovereign people, you're sovereign, you own South because the Queen left England. It's all Sharia law, there's no British law there now. Well, so we're going back in there with this to put the British law back in. See, so they've got a problem. They've got all sorts of problems in Britain. And just as well, you people are, are still got this way, connecting back to England, and I'm going back there to put this back in, to get England back and Britain back together. So it's split, it's, they've done a good job, the Queen has done a good job of splitting them up at the last. Split us up, split everybody else in the world, and split them last. Split their own people last. And they can't believe it. They can't believe it. Too late, it's gone. It's gone. So a lot of things have changed. I've got my, my hand on, on, on all of this going on. These people are watching. And it'll be live streaming again because um, uh, it's, it's, it's evidence. We have evidence here. Morris has evidence here in these books over here. He can show you, but he didn't need to. We just want to get this, the facts. We just want to shorten things up to make it quick that we have information here. If you agree with it, with what his... We're just picking one tupuna or two put tupuna and go with this story. It's a British one. And just go for it. Don't worry about any whakapapa because they'll fall back onto you, back on you here. You're the first ones to know of this idea that's never been tried before. Because everybody's tried with the flag and gone to the United Nations, gone to the World Bank, gone to the World Court, gone everywhere and got nowhere. You know why? Because it's got the word Mary on it. You know why? The Mary word, the Queen created it. She created the tribe and put it as 1840 Mary. When you go back into these deeds, you won't find the word Mary in it. Not anywhere. Only right up to 1945. So that's what we're saying. We we'll go back to our tupuna, pick a tupuna, pick two people who are strong enough to stand up to anything on the other end to say, he, he has furnished documents to me in real estate and banking and brokering to know that he's got authenticated documents that he got out of Mary Lamp, well, it took him a long time to do it, but they wouldn't give it, he, he just said, give it in. So they gave it, I went there, I, I, can, I can show you a video after everybody looking at it, I said, listen to this. Him and I went there with Jacinda Flavel, she, she's uh, the, the one that's doing his, his, uh, his case for these lands, and she said, you can hear her say, John, of oh, the Mary Land Court, we don't recognise memorials. She's just written off these memorials up here on the hill. Yeah. And that's going to get her, because that's our evidence. We just need to tell the British uh, establishment that the Mary Land Court does not recognise any of your memorials, it, let alone your kori to kori up there. That's, that's your tupuna. It's not he, Morris is on his own, but we're using it on the documents to make them authenticated, to go back there to open up the business with the flag and find out where all the wealth is gone that belongs to you using your flag to the king in the first place to these lands. And that was a contract that the queen is making all the money from that and putting it in her bank and going back to Germany and, and, and the, the Queen Victoria Trust. And that trust in the Netherlands, that's a million metric tons of gold that belongs to your trust. And I'm telling all these people, you better jump in and push the button and claim it. Because that's what it is. It's claim what's taken out of your land, all your logs and everything, is gone to their trust. Queen Victoria Trust, 1848. I'll go like this. It starts like this. This is a track of events. Hori Tikuri, a chief. He was a councillor for the native titles in the Rawane Native Magistrate Court. He was one of the officers in that area here, where, where Ramaki was the same in, in uh, Perinaki and Opanani, all this area there, they were in these contracts going on with the kings. They were there in the king's side, right? So go from 1820 and you go to 1823, from there, that title, down to Waikara uh, uh, in uh, Waiku, Waiku, the Waikaro chief, 
that Tino Waikato and Hoagie Higa, that Waikato Hoagie Higa had the muskets. He was there to fight for the military, of the, of the army military. He was there for that, to go and conquer with the British the lands. So this other guy, they both went to Cambridge uh, University to learn English and to learn, but Tino Waikato did the land titles from Cambridge, from Mangatotiri. That's his power on top of the hill. And so that's my father's law down there. That's on that marae, and uh, it's it's got it's got a name change from Mangatotiri Marae to Pohara Marae, poor people. No, they'll, they'll be the richest people by the time we finish with this. And everybody else that's attached to this tupuna, Horitikuri, I picked him and that other one down there, the, the, the Terawakato Farehiri in Manukau. That's at Tahana Marae, the Tahana Marae at Waiku. That's actually Manukau Marae. I've got all that history on videos with Mohi Manukau. But he didn't know how it works. He didn't know how all this works. All those, all those chiefs didn't know banking. Didn't, only only, only T.W. Rafna, he was the only one that knew how that worked. And uh, he couldn't get all his Maori people together because it was, two, it was 1919 and uh, it, it was not Maori yet. So, so we're, we're, we're really fixing you people live to the other live people in England. We've already got 13 people signed to this. And I'm going back with, with you people to sign help to sign with Ma Ma Morris your title to that tūpuna and uh, uh, not so much Ramaka but that's the father, he's on the land so that's a title, he's on the land down here but the two of them up there, um, anybody down those two lines, the cuckoo line is, is um, um, a cook line and a cuckoo line uh, with, uh, with uh, uh, Horitikuri that's Morris's line, he, he can vouch for that but I'm saying he has enough evidence here for me to uh, certify or as a native uh, assessor or native uh, investigator of titles. So I've got that, uh, that uh, already and a lot of confidence in Britain, in England at least, England separated from Britain, to go back and, and, and with, uh, furnish uh, fresh evidence from the last time I went there. I've just come back from England and uh, I've, I've got a, a big response there from, from those people to back this title up. Uh, for just picking one for the rest. That's all you have to do is support Morris and this title back to those your own ancestors with the indigenous natives uh, and that's all that matters with these that's all that matters with the documents to claim the inheritance of what I'm saying. And we've got power notes here sitting in the NZ Bank in Auckland with Morris on it. We both went to see um, Fortune Manning lawyers and we took these documents here to fill out and the ecclesiastic, all those things here. And he couldn't do it. So we have to do it ourselves. We, we, we can go straight in a native court and we're going to do it outside Westerners on, on, on road, outside of, in the paddock. And you can have a native court anywhere um, and don't have to be in the building. Because our documents, that's all that matters. That's all that matters in a court like this. And we're lucky with uh, Morris, this is the Hori Tikuri Marai. That's our, we better put that name and stick it. And it'll, 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 it'll go out that this is one tupuna that the Maori Land Court won't recognise the Whakapapa to Morris down his bank line. And I find it offensive for them to do that. They're doing it to everybody else as well and making them go off track on the Whakapapa to pander into the iwi Maori that have gone and creamed it off for them and not you. Not the hapu. This is the hapu. This is the hapu. Um, the original uh, uh, way of things it's best to go back to the original deed and remove the mortgage. I'm removing the mortgage off these lands and put it back in the original title. And so that's that's really uh, what uh, what I want to say about the um, the Cuckoo uh, family, the Cook family. You're going back to Cook, uh, Cook Captain Cook. You know, you're going back with those names that, that stick to the name, the surname, and Cook in Britain. And so that, we're going back to the beginning, square one. We're go, going back to uh, square one with one title here, and Morris has done all his due diligence to go to Maryland Court, and they won't get anywhere with it. It, it just won't get anywhere. That's why I had the video under the table and, and caught them in the act. Uh, so that's, you know, I can play it, um, but it's on, on video on live stream as well. I'm putting all those things together, and the same with down at uh, uh, Auckland, we had a memorial on the one tree hill. That's just like wrapping it up. That's without going into specifics of somebody's fuck-up-up and other fuck up to make things worse than what they are now with the Crown corporations running there. That's their business for them. And uh, really, after all these years going to Waikani, I've been there for a and donkey years and got nothing. Um, um, 
on funds but just joining uh, joining um, incorporations uh, which is around the same thing as well so um, our, our camera's still going with all the people come back here so that's good uh, I don't keep my fingers still so I'm wiping off the last one uh, and it's started again and it comes slamming back at you so we have a, a, a live audience and that's our uh, people by the time we, we've gone through all of this but um, uh, I don't have to go through any great detail. All I'm doing is making an impression of a native court hearing that has there's plenty of information online uh, about it, so I don't have to rattle on anything. Uh, the thing is to believe in what we're doing with Ma Morris. It's never been done this way before. We've been to Waitangi many times and nothing has happened uh, yet. That's what I'm saying. Anything with the word Maori on it is going to be very difficult to settle in Napu. I didn't want Napu to, to settle for less than what was said of what the Crown Corporation, that's their business, it's private, and nobody can enter into that. And they're running the Maori government in that parliament in Wokin. And now that the Queen has gone out of England, she's still there dancing around, ready to go, but she's already made indications that she's going. And so there's nothing connecting there. That's why Jacinda Ardern had to go there and make a new deal with the Queen, and with, no, not with the Queen, with the Prime Minister, to come straight to Australia. And so we'll see a lot of things happening, and I'm hoping that I can go straight into Morris's land and start developing it. Uh, and, and with any funds, we've got the pound note lined up here in Britain, and it's in the agency bank in Auckland. I've, I've set that all up already. All I have to do is get one man and get the whole up. And so we can, uh, we can witness this in front of everybody. Uh, today is historic <laughs> of this land, and, uh, and um, straight, to, straight to Britain to make these come alive, make all these documents come alive. And they've got two months from to the 28th today to the 28th, just before the Brexit deal on 29th, when if anybody, if nobody refutes what I'm saying in those two months period, it's the law. It's the law. And I, I, I can go straight back and take Cook Street and take the whole country. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying to you. And so that's the only way you get your land back in one shot. One shot and remove remove them from office. Remove and put some more, put the military straight in, the British military goes straight in. That's what they did when Honey Hickey cut the flag down. They used a declaration of war on the on the on the whole country and took the French partners in the out the South Island. That's months down the South Island, this is old stuff, the free uh, state country to to Northern Ireland, to Belfast. I've been to Belfast, I went to uh, uh, St. Patrick's gravesite and claimed the grave. To the airport on the Right? So that's gone down as uh, Arlene Foster, the First Minister of Ireland, Northern Ireland, banged the whole of them down with that. And that's why they can't move on that border in Northern Ireland. But it's the same cool stuff that Queen's wearing out here. We're wearing it on our hats. We're wearing it here on our hats. You better watch that over. Oh no, it's on the airport star, on, on the flag anyway. We're wearing it. We've got it. We're, 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 we're claiming that as the fortune of everything. And the, the Crown corporations have to relinquish it back to you. You're holding the flag. That's what those acorns are in North East, South West and North. So that's all I'm doing there. Uh, we'll just go back to Morris's uh, Papa um, with um, The memorials are still in his name without going into the World Trust. Now that's one good thing. He's got the church here. And we're just establishing that church as, as being the original. Still intact. It's still physically there, of Ratna here, with the happy and the seal on here. Mm -hmm. The seal's on there for these documents. We can, we can use the seal. It belongs here to the Pahaki's name on it. It's not down the line. That one there has been commercialised in Ratna. That, the, the government running them for that. Yeah. Right? And, and took the Ratna there from all the churches and bring all the Wakas together. It's the Waka history that's created that. And I'll tell you what, 1868, the Native Land Court Act is 1868. You know the guess where they come from? Tiruaika for Whanahiri in Mankaus. So the whole of Kukukukai from Cleveland right over to Waiku. And that's that title, the Native title there. They use that, that title, Tiruaika for Whanahiri in Mankaus title, for their Native Land Court Act. Right? And then they put that into the 1993 Native Land Act. But they're using that to go down to Ratna to get permission to use that Native Act. And so we can demolish it to right here in this fire here with this. But that's what I'm doing. I'm claiming Ratna here as being first up with the with the with the history of these people that 
sitting on these bags around here. I'm, I'm saying out of everything, you've got Tinawag, Whareherehere, here, Manukau, down at Bangalore Country Mountain, and you've got Porichikuri up here on that hill there. That's all you need to make these become alive as not beneficiaries anymore, but creditors. You're now judgment creditors in this judgment creditor court. So that's what I'm saying. We're going to put that over there and see how the military stands up there. Because the Navy is your partner. The Navy, the Royal British Navy is your partner. What's happened is, this is what happened. Just to let you know, the Duke of Edinburgh, uh, Prince Philip and the Queen turned over the Navy, the Royal British Navy, to the Muslims. To the Muslims. And the commander in chief of the, the, the Royal Navy, the, the military, is the Muslim. And Sharia law is taking over the whole world. The Germans, the Germans, and Merkel in 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 in, in, uh, um, uh, in the, this um, EU Parliament is like a satellite up here. They're going to use the Muslims to annihilate the world and pit it up everybody else. So you're facing that sort of situation. But at the present time. We have only one more chance to hold on to our Maori land titles before they demolish it. Once it goes, one, once an apple is settled, goes with them into the, uh, the Maori land for the last time. So they could be shutting it down any time now and uh, go into the, uh, into the district courts. Into the district courts will be your, your, your only place to go. It won't have anything now yet. Your, your Maori land court titles will be dissolved. We're trying to sort this one out. And take them right back into the British titles before they demolish the British titles as well. They're going to clean out, they're, they're getting rid of Westminster and this land and everything now over there. See, so, so the Queen took your trust to Australia. That's what I'm saying. I won't, I, I won't be wrong. It's going either to Israel or America or Australia or New Zealand. I don't think it'll go to New Zealand because Australia's a bigger country and half of the South, uh, half of the Australia, right up the middle, up like that. The left side is this Dutch title of Van Diemen's Land and New Zealand. That's this Dutch title to be fake. King William the Second, King William the uh, Third, King of uh, um, uh, Orange, or Orange uh, uh, Island, uh, and that Orange title, not the green one, the Orange one, is the title to this whole uh, uh, um, uh, scenario here with Ulster, this North Island. North Island has been, this is the Belfast of Ireland, and that's got the title. That, that's the one holding power over Britain at the moment. And they can't get away from this northern um, um, uh, border. They can't, they, can't, they can't move it because we're stuck in contract with that. So that's what I'm saying. These people are watching online, um, me telling you about these um, documents here. Uh, we're going to go into uh, a four-hour online streaming later on from here. We'll, we'll deal with Morris's titles to this native with his, um, the families here around this area must know what I'm doing. I have to tell them what, what is best for this country because at the moment all these years, 193 years, Maori have not progressed on their own because the Maori land is owned by the Queen. She owns all the sixth of the globe and that's her business. You've worked for her, flown the flag for her and we're taking it off her. This is what I'm saying. We're going. I'm going back to Britain to take that flag off it, and the people over there are flying it more than they are here, because they know it's a British flag. And I've split out the flag so you can see the little cross and the black strip is the Satan of that's holding us to ransom on that contract with these people. So that's that's really really what I'm saying. That uh, they they must know over there, and you must know what we're doing with this flag and this flag and uh, the hockey here of of claiming those. Uh, Ratna did a lot of work to try and make Maori or whatever because it was it was that time, 1919. The word Maori came out only in 1945, 1940 period of the war. That's when the Maori went to war and they came back and it was Maori land. Before that there wasn't. There was no, no Maori. The, the matter, the Queen and their, um, their um, um, uh, universities made up all the story to make Maori look like they owned the land. But really, we've been fighting to get the Maori land back off them. And that's the hardest part. That's hard to do. Well, the only way to do it is to, <coughs> to go with one and see where that goes. When I go back to England, I'm saying we should solve this problem once and for all. For all the people in the world that's been affected by this title. They're saying, this is what they say in England. One woman came up to me and she said, this one of the dragons. 
the dragons on the Queensland. She said, to John, so this flag is a trick, is it? I said, yeah, it's a trick. Yeah, they threw you into the sea, put the put the sea admiralty flag up, and they jumped on this one on the land. It's a land flag we were given on land, dry land. I said, Why, I said, your ship is on dry land, stuck there, and they just hop off the ship straight on dry land, and that's how that's how they did it. And so, as long as you know, there's a moral in the story. We talk about the land. Okay, Morris, you want to take over and tell some about oh, the two Yes. You can, you can talk about your two punters? I, I, yeah. right? I was, something I was going to, well, um, <coughs> Morris's ancestors. The cook family. The cooler, and the baby, um, baby family. The cooler of that John has just, you know, put over, well, actually, he's actually said it all for me. You know, and, um, for me, myself, I believe in what John's doing, and um, I take I take the position. Because what I, I'm looking at, we got to try something different. That's why I, that's why I brought this weed here. I do want to take it on my line. Why? Because on my line, it's run by trustees, and who do they belong to? The Maori Anko. Trustees could tell me, no, who the hell are you to come here? That's why I brought this weed here, because this is native land that belonged to Bobby Tukuri. And on my documents that I've got him, he is the sole owner to this land. Him only. And he's one and only son here of mine. So I thought, wow, well, I'm going to try something different. I'm going to bring this weed here. And I believe in my heart, I think I did the right thing. But I, I put it out there one, had it mine. You're most welcome. Come along, i bring some sort of proof of, well, you can see all the proof evidence on the table. <clears throat> and, and like he's streaming this rug right around the whole boat. Well, I don't think you can get a bloody deal any better than that. You know, I, I'm, not, I'm not rubbishing, you know, what, what's been happening, but we haven't got, we've got nowhere. Hey, absolutely. And that's an odd. No, he's a good call. I don't say he's good. They say, oh, um, yeah, but um, uh, Marty's not going to get any money for, for, from these treaty kind of to not till he settles. And you get money. <laughs> well, they have to get getting the, the, the wrong people have been getting the money. That's how I look at it. And that's coming from my, from my mouth. You know, they've got to be put there. They've done nothing for us, right? I've been, I've followed weeds around, I've been everywhere. And all I see, oh, you, you sign there so I can get the mandate and, and use your name so I can get some money from, you know, from the government, gonna give some money as long as you sign my papers. And I worked all those things out over a period of years, going to DC, and I felt in my heart, it's my moment of bloody time. And all I hear money, oh boy, you know, I went to this bloody week. shit man, they're eating crayfish, oh, they're eating crayfish for a thing. I said, well, why are you eating like that and getting all that? I said, well, the government there is pulling that mat. Hey? And you go, oh, man, they, you've got oil on my bloody land. Look, he's pinching my bloody land or whatever. The government. That's why we're like this. So I said, I'm going to try something different. It took me a long time to sit this thing up. And I did it by myself with the help of this man and my very uh, brother love. Otherwise, he... I kept a small group to myself because I believe in my heart. Too many heads in the pot, Carl. Because you all want to be fucking cheap. <laughs> That's what I found with Marty. But you know, sooner or later they're gonna they got to smell the roses, bro. All I see is Rudy Taylor and Sonny Tony standing up in, 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 in down Parliament on the main there with do little. That's what I call it because he's done little. He's done bugger off. And they're standing there proud of themselves. So you must be, you know, here, now here's your little food here, man. You, you, you keep rocking those Maoris. So, you know, what we've got to really understand is that uh, Maoris come under, the, under the, the Queen and the government. And that's been there. So, how are we going to change something? So, I, I thought this out. I said, well, well, why don't I say, bring a hoi on to the family. <coughs> Have it live here, nah? Because who is the Queen of Oasis, man? And it's 
Some of you say I'm wrong doing this. No. But I don't believe that I'm wrong. It might be a bit of blood guessing that it ever happened. And now this thing is right around the wall. So, you know, for you say come, you know, and, you know, when I really look back to Hori uh, uh with Ramaka, he, uh, uh, Ramaka, well, he actually, he actually grew up down in, um, well, he was down there in, um, what's it, um, Fibonacci. Yeah, Fibonacci. Well, and I asked the kid, well, what the hell is Hori doing down there? Well, father and son. That's his father down there. Well, he from away and he comes from there, right too. That's why he was here. Right too. And where's the right too buried? Down Malanunu. Where's the Ramaka? Down the back here on me. You know, I believe well I couldn't get a better connection than that. Like I say, see, three sides of penny killer. No, well I just that. That's, that's my grandmother, Mede, there. That's her mother, Pinikia. So, you know, um, for the, the, the Taha or Hori the Kuri, and, and I'm God, because I believe in my own heart there's too much that is being fabricated and it's said to, you know, because I, I grew up here 67 years ago. I was still a young fellow, but hey. I can talk 60 years, 70 years old talk, because I was here. Grandma brought me up here. You know, and I said, oh, you don't know what he's talking about. Yeah, that bloody, yeah, all well, this sort of blood. I said, well, I didn't mind. Bring something, you can put it in front of me. Because you ain't got it, well, you're not standing in front of me. I see video of cone mark or well, what? You bring proof like I'm, um, um, we've got all the proof out of here, on here, now. If you can't do that, and he said, oh, yeah, you know, I've got a bit of tui tui on this paper. Well, I, I believe, well, you keep your paper. You know, so I, in my own heart, I, mean, I think I've done the right thing that I've done. And this is what I want to put out to the people in Te Taheke and the Hokianga. With, with these in not feeding not because Rama came only well, but because Rama has lived in me and put them away in this one So it's understandable that Holy Spirit did spend. But the time you know who he's there. But he was born and everything that happened here. See, when you come to this pink, oh, oh I'm not get to that later. Um, so other than that, um, I think I did the right thing for me this week. Here. So it is good. Well, you know, people looking at it live and that. And uh, oh, oh, I'm very surprised when I see uptown. You know, and people say, but instead of coming, I said, well, come on to the beach. Don't go down by now, laugh there. I said, come along, you're both welcome. Well, don't talk on the bloody road, you talk nonsense. Well, the ones that I really want, why do you not need that? How? You people that come, and I love it. So really, I look at it one way, the main actors are here. <laughs> the ones that come. So the ones that want to stand on the road or talk, from, talk behind, I don't know, anywhere, well, he doesn't mean nothing to me, you know, and, and that's what I feel about, in a nice way, you know, and, uh, and, I, and I think in how I piece it together, we really hold it to Kuli, and like you see the memorials up there, because even when you come to the Wahitapu, I can remember as a kid, and Uncle Barney looking him up there, you know, I was there going around with my dad and all them up there, that Wahitapu, it was called Te Tareke Cemetery. It was not Puke Fiki. And I said, well, who put the Puke Fiki on? Then I asked him, well, what does Puke Fiki mean? Oh, some said, oh, it's the Puke of a dolphin. That's, that's the cool island, in fact. I said, well, who changed it? Who changed that name to that place? Well, I said, well, it had to be done to fabricate the Huri Tikuri. That's why I believe they named that Nati Tikuri, but they used Hori Tikuri to name their tribe um, Nati Tikuri. And that's in my documents. That's why they had to call it that, to fabricate Hori Tikuri, you know? But he's oh no, the, the, the tribe Nati Tikuri. Well, that was the colony that they did that, the government. And the marriage went for it. Why? Because they, they've been using Hori Tikuri for, for their own game, for their right. And he's from here. 
So there was no use to make a log joint. It was a made up, made up, uh, made up, but they used that tupuna. Which is what who was it? The paramount chief of Te Tahi. And so it by them. So um, you know and uh, well the, the, that's a big you know you, John uh, you put it across so briefly uh, John and uh, you know and uh, I've stuck you know I mean you stuck together and because uh, you know well I feel felt sorry for this man. It, it, it was up white tongue when those people up there hit up in him. I mean, it's those popos. I was there. They hit that with this man. The people from up there. And all the while, they're like, oh, I'm not signing them, I'm bunging them, all the all the, oh, John, John, you sign these papers for anything, John. When you sign it, they will go to the car and let the man stand in there. Nobody got. I took, took him under my, under my wing. You come with me. They, they, they didn't want to know about it. Now they're ringing up, oh, John, John, we'll be worried now, John. You know, I say, oh, tell him to go and have a bloody shit. Hey? Yeah. Go and find him another, something different like what I did. Keep taking better of this one. <laughs> you know, and I, I believe, uh, I believe in my own heart, you know, that he's out here, well, and I believe we are on the right track. Well, like we see, it's proof and evidence, and they are here. Like this man took them to the highest court in the world. He took his documents and I'll watch him on bloody YouTube, him, in the world court. And what did he do there? He turned and got the, the, the fellow was stamping on you. Know, he took his, um, what do you call DNA? Made him put his son on the seat and he was showing the world. Now he got that fellow that stamped that shield, his DNA, his prints, on his documents. You can't get anything better than that of a world court. You know, so you know what John's doing, you know, we've got to be real. I feel them, I have, you know, people want to, you know, you stayed away, you were really you're comfortable. You know, I can't tell, oh, no, forget about that, you come with us. No, 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 that's not me, but I believe I have got the, the right document is taken to get these things together, and I believe they are together, and I've got the right man that's uh, helped me tell all that. You know, me and John, sometimes we don't see the eye, Mom. We have a big argument, or a big argument, but hey, we can make that and look at it. Oh, we're all right, bro. Yeah, we're all right, bro. I said, well, we both got it tough on that. <laughs> but other than that, you know, uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, the way you put it across um, John. And you, Dion, you know, and you've been here, and like I said, this thing's floating all over the whole world right now. So, um, and uh, I think it's brilliant. So uh, I, I can't, um, I can't um, add any more to that kuru, but I'm glad the ones that have come, they've heard it from the horse's mouth, not from his tail. You know, they can go away and say, oh no, we got it from, the, from over, you know. And, and I, I'm quite proud of, you know, taking, and, and look, that girl, that's my niece, Tani. She's a Barnes. She's another one. Mm. She had me through these things. Mm -hmm. When things get hot to anyone, someone in the oh well. I said, well, you work in a police station, just tell the police to go and get them. <laughs> you work there, they'll go there, don't go get them, they want to be cheeky or, or naughty to, to us. But you know, we don't want that sort of thing, man. But you know, you can get some of the people that, you know, follow the rails and whatever, but uh, you know, but to have you here, man, oh, you know, you made my day. And uh, like I said, well, you know, I think we're going to, you know, the usual go away, put the corner out, and say, oh, too old, whatever, and uh, the ones that didn't come, oh, well, tough for them. You know, but other than that, I'm, I'm quite happy and uh, with that corner, so I'll leave it to, um, would you like to say anything, We're going to open the floor up afterwards, but uh, any questions or after when I finish, uh, after March? Yeah, I'll wait a bit, one more time out there, but uh, at the moment, um, that's about me, and uh, I'll, I'll turn it back to John. Okay, John. Well, thank you, uh, Morris. I'll, I'll open it up for some discussion afterwards, just so that you can um, ask me anything, uh, because I'm taking this Kopapa back to Britain again on the 15th. Uh, I go to the Philippines. Um, my, my family, they got a young wife there with some kids, young kids, and then I go from there to Ireland, back to the... Um, uh, um, 
the Republic of Ireland to meet the, the, the chiefs there and also the uh, radio station there to put out uh, the message from here um, back to that eight point star on the flag. We're claiming that St. Patrick, going back and going back there and make it solid on that contract, um, on the King's contract. Uh, and, um, and then from there back to London um, and meet the executive. We've got 13 people there, voluntary, running his business of the my tidal turbines in the sea that's going around the world on this flag. I've put a lot of effort into making this flag work for us. It hasn't worked for us yet, it's been working for the Queen. And you haven't seen much come out of what she's done with all the money carted off for her own self. And she's run off with our trust, our Queen Victoria Trust. All the pensions in the world, all the benefits, all the world comes from that trust from here. And I'm just telling those people, we have a contract running here that's still live with that flag over there. They, the Queen has tampered with our contract and that's what I'm using as against her corporations and her Rothschild family, against you, the hapu, not the iwi, that's the iwi. This is the hapu. I'm taking the hapu back here. You're the hapu of that one chief up the top of the hill. We won't say it's mine and mine and whose and whose. <laughs> yeah, we'll just say a common tupuna on a neutral ground here with nobody interfering. It's just as well Morris has left this land neutral for me to come here away from the Moriza corporate on the Queen's Rothschild side. Everything with the Queen is Rothschild Bank. This is a bank flag. This is a bank flag that they're using to go around and plunder everybody's country and turn it into war. This is a war declaration of war flag, really, for pirates on the high seas that get in the road. If you get in the road, they'll put a contract out on you. President or anybody that tampers with the Rothschild family of mafia. They're the Mafia, Cabali, and the Bilderbergs in America. They're running all their business in America from here. And Waitangi, Marae, uh, they're running. That's the highest court in the world with that British ship stuck on the dry land. That one and the other ship on the other side in Russell. And we went there with uh, Jim Wicotu and, uh, and put the flag up. That put the flag up upside down to tell the Navy in Britain we're in distress. That's, that's coming from a Maori side of incorporations. But uh, even that, the, the Navy won't listen. They'll only listen to something of origins, of yeah, British origins. And just leave the Maori aside, let them worry about their thing, and just turn yourself over to this one. Support Morris in your title here. I'm doing the one by my father-in-law in, in uh, Maungatapuri Mountain with that chief. And so that's all it needs to make these legal documents more legal from what they are already, what those people already signed these documents over there in Britain, they already signed, as your partners live. The Navy's the other partner, they're the second party, now we're the first party because we know what we're talking about with this contract. It used to be the King and the Navy, the first party, and us, the Paramount Chiefs, the second party. That's why in, in, in Maori or Cook Island they say Ariki, not in commercial contracts. It doesn't make money if you use Maori. For us, or Ariki, it won't make money. Only paramount chiefs. Right? That term on uh, is a king, is equal to a king. Right? So that's why we're going as um, a paramount chief on these documents. And you've got Bundy and, and um, um, uh, Hiriwini Karaka, Bundy, Waitai, and, and Manahi, um, Parapara Malahi. They've signed this and just went like that. They said, John, go. You, know, you go and try and make that work for us. We'll just sit at home and see if that works. You see? So they're still struggling with, with the Crown Corporation and the Queen, which is going to make them pander to her and her bank, Rothschild Bank. They're controlling the bank. I'm going there to dissolve the Queen Victoria Trust, go and take it over as a trustee, change the trustees, the Queen and King of Spain. The Queen of Spain, um, uh, Amalda Malkos, is now arrested for diddling the trust and um, uh, in Switzerland. And so that's her out, that just leaves Prince Andrew and the Queen as the head of this trust. And that's for the whole world. She's taken this flag around the world with uh, the Navy here, uh, without anybody knowing what the marriage will fly the flag actually for her, not for them. It's flying for her on dry land, on dry land, on Waitangi National Trust. The Waitangi National Trust is the Queen's business corporate running the whole world. 
and the intuition news them is the other trust that took over from the business round table of the Rothschilds here. They took out the, the business round table and turned it into